going on today? Uh, it is Easter Monday, and uh, just here at work this morning. I just uh, catch up. It's been about two months since I've done the video, but we've just been working in the shop. We hauled a few to Old Dutch, which is just all the stuff you guys have seen. The, the planner's been here in the shop for a while. It's all ready to go. Uh, other than maybe a few updates on the uh, on the auto steer, like on the globe and stuff. Uh, we just put this box on this truck. Uh, my uncle painted it, and he did the truck frame too, so that was his winter project. We just got it back together. We just need the fenders back on. Yeah, we got the duels here for the 8320 and the other 7630. But uh, right now, I am just... Uh, doing some book work. Uh, we got some loads of seed coming this morning. That'll be the first of that. And uh, also I'm going to be uh, hauling McCain's this week. So stay tuned for that. Right now, book work. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later and uh, I'm just here in my truck and uh, We've been unloading a couple loads of seed that came from over across the border. We had somebody else haul for us. And uh, we've been hauling with straight uh, trucks. A couple of our own loads. We've been cutting them, but uh, we're uh, going to load uh, two trailers for McCain's that have to go tomorrow morning early. So uh, I'm just taking my truck home for lunch. And then I'll uh, head back uh, down the river a little ways to Bernard's Potato House. And that's where we're going to load at us. So. Anyway, yeah, we'll get going right now. Catch you guys there. Well, he just finished up our lunch. And uh, we're gonna jump in the truck and head down river.
fungicide and one part of it is insecticide. So the insecticide helps the plant when it first comes out of the ground not to be eaten by potato bugs. Uh, I think it has, I can't remember how many days it is effective for, but uh, so you have potato bug chews on the plant when it's vulnerable and small and at first it's coming up over out of the ground. It'll protect against that and then the fungicide helps when we have cold wet soil and uh, keeps the seed piece uh, from rotting before it can grow into a potato plant. Probably not going to show you guys a whole lot of the seed cutting process this spring. I made a couple videos last year on it. I know one of them is called making the cut and so if you're interested in uh, cutting seed potatoes then uh, you get the lighting better then you can watch those videos but uh, hopefully just gonna try to get more of the uh, the planting and what goes on in the summer for you this year and uh, definitely harvest this year too so anyway now we're just gonna keep on cutting well guys I'm uh, recording this on a different camera so I've used my GoPro to start the video and record us racking. Use my phone for a little bit while I was cutting seed. Now I got a fancy camera. And uh, anyway, but uh, I'm just back here at the potato house where we loaded the trucks. And uh, with this whole COVID-19 coronavirus thing going on, uh, we have to fill out forms uh, for McCain's. Well, we have forms to fill out anyway. Uh, we have to fill out forms for each truck that we're hauling with normally uh, that goes up and then that way they can uh, make sure that uh, we've uh, cleaned the trucks and looked over the trucks and made sure that there's uh, no like debris or scrap metal anything like that or golf balls or and that way they know whether there's that we looked over the trucks we didn't just uh, like use a truck that we didn't have clean and ready to haul the product up there. But uh, with the coronavirus uh, going on, there's a checklist that we had to go through before we went up there and came in contact with their employees, which uh, makes a lot of sense. This is a serious thing that's going on right now. So anyway, I just filled that out and put it in my truck so it's all ready to go for the morning. I put a copy in Scott's truck for him to fill out before he goes up tomorrow. So yeah, let me know what camera you guys uh, think is best. Uh, this one, hopefully it's this one because it was the most expensive, but I'm not going to lug this around all the time because it's also breakable. But uh, I can do some different little things and get some good pictures with it. So anyway, uh, yeah, so I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Good morning, guys. Here on the truck, it's about 5 30. Scott just left. Uh, I'm just, just waiting for my trailer to pump up just that extra little bit, and uh, we're good to go now. So, we're gonna head off to McCain's. Uh, they told us we're only doing three loads a day, uh, that could easily change, but if that's the case, then uh, this will be my only load up there for today. So yeah, uh, just stay tuned. We're here. Scott, he's just backing in to the first bay. And then they got another bay over here on this side that you can back into too. So, uh, I just to wait for the grader to come back, back me in. I had to get my temperature taken before I came in, which is a really good precautionary measure they got going on up here. Uh, to prevent the spread of coronavirus so yeah we're just gonna sit out here in the truck and wait our turn for them to wave us in or they'll just open the door up and then we'll know to go and you're up here this is the kind of here you gotta wear a reflective vest or uh, safety glasses we're just waiting we shut Scott's door and uh, we're just waiting them for Scott's in this one. And uh, we'll back into that one there.
guys. It's uh, the next day. We got three loads up yesterday. I took one. Scott took two. It's about 5.30. Had the truck pumping up here for a little while and uh, we're just getting ready to go. Scott just left ahead of me again and uh, so yeah, we're going up with two more. And uh, hopefully they'll do a third and maybe a little bit more today. But they're not running very hard so with all the restaurants shut down and everything. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, Get up there and get back. See what the rest of the day brings. Well, guys, I uh, just finished uh, editing this video out. And uh, I noticed that I didn't do an outro for it. We only hauled the one house to McCain's. We moved and got set up uh, for the next house, but uh, there's not really a super high demand for potatoes right now uh, with the coronavirus going on. Uh, it's still quite cold. We just got quite a bit of snow. We've already put some acres in the ground as I'm filming this, but uh, you guys will see that in the next video. But yeah, anyway. Uh, so we're cooling them down and we're going to be sitting on them for a little while. Uh, luckily our storages are keeping and uh, hopefully uh, they'll all go. And uh, I know that a lot of growers uh, across the country and down in the states too, in the western states, uh, are uh, wondering what's going to happen with this new season. But uh, I'm optimistic that... Uh, We'll be all right for next year.